Well, if you have any questions, folks, I've got a few minutes. We were hoping to be done by three, and I think we made it. Hello there. If you have any questions, I'm, I'll, I, can, I, gotta, I can hang with you for a few minutes. Hi, Zelda. Well, hello. You want to come up? Oh, hot fudge Sunday! I love hot fudge Sundays. Yes, come on, you want to come up? Come, come. Ooh, that's a very busy day. Mowgli was looked at. Um, we're not real positive yet. Um, what that is, Dr. Darcy was very honest, said she's never seen anything like her mouth before. Her mouth is very, um, it's very, very not right. <laughs> As you all know, you probably all have picked up on that. So she thinks we had both talked about it and probably within a week or two, we should know something of what it's doing. Um, we're going to change one of her, we're going to change her antibiotic to a different antibiotic. And um, hopefully that will help and we'll keep her on the pain meds. As long as she's on those pain meds, she can eat. But she will drool because that tongue just is awful. So we will um, keep track of that and keep Dr. Darcy posted on it. Um, April, cat lover, what we want to see is um, good pet ownership. And I am a big believer that cats and dogs should be taken to the vets at least once a year for a physical. Even if the vaccines are not due, it's still good to have a physical because that's where you find your small problems, hopefully before they become big problems. And so we do look for that. We do look for that. Yeah, Mowgli sometimes gets whoa, real ropey, but um, she, she does okay. Yeah, feel free to fill out an application like Mudgy says and send it in and we can talk. And if you send it in, April, cat lover, be sure to put your chat name on there too, please. We had lots of visitors this morning. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> Because if people called in this week and asked about coming on Saturday, a lot of them, we told them we were, we were really not going to be functioning as a normal open Saturday morning because we were also going to be so busy with the surgeries. But um, we had lots of people coming in and people looking, looking at the kitties. Um, right now we have uh, all of Sasakani's babies are on hold one of Feather's kitties are on hold and we have three of the Inkies are on hold but I have probably at least six to eight applications that are not finished yet. So we shall see. Oh, Feather and Sasakani does very well together. They really do good. We had, you know what, I need to copy all those names down. We had lots of awesome people helping us with post-op, and one was Jim here, Mary um, Braid, Mary Braid Earth, Beth, um, Beth, who is Eagle Watcher, Pablo, Pablo, uh, Megan, and Dawn. And Dawn And Donna e. was around. Yep, Donna helped a lot too. So I we had one, everybody. two, three, four, five, six, seven helping with um, post-op. And so what they do for that, they, we, uh, on normally how we do it is um, when we get done and we make sure, you know, the first few minutes that they're they're breathing fine and we have their tube out, then we pack them up, wrap them up, and take them to one of them that's in the palm art, and they observe them, make sure that the color's good, the breathing's good, um, they're calm, relaxed, things like that, they're warm, 
So those are super important to us because we don't have to um, then us watch them and we can keep on going with another kitty. An estimated age for Mowgli, um, we've got, we're going to probably put her down as five years. And yes, she has lived a very rough life, I would say, outside. So she does appear to be older. set my timers make sure I turn the autoclave off yeah. <laughs> one night I yeah, left it on where way too long how many cats today we did um, blah, 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 16 yeah you, you 16. said you had what 21 yeah we had 21, 21 scheduled one three was a no two. show two was a no show and we sent two out because two. they were they were already, already neutered, neutered so. I think it was like 16 robot and then we did um, five of the six inkies and then we did the amputation for um uh, about Man, Man Bell. Bell. Yeah, I think it was sixteen and five I think we did twenty one surgeries. Well twenty one plus twenty two with the amputation. <sighs> we kept Doc, Dr. Dorsey busy today. We did keep her busy. I think he. I think um, Elsie's okay. She's been a little bit more bold and trying more things of how to get around, and I think that's kind of made her um, tumble a little bit. How am I today? Thank you for asking. I'm ready to go to bed. This morning was crazy. I it was crowded in here. It was one very busy in all. here. I'm going back across the hall. Lots and lots of people in here today, looking at kitties, asking questions, bringing us some donations. It was crazy. Oh yeah, KB, that crash was um, a plate, a glass plate fell. I don't know how it got off of the frame, but boom, it just shattered. Yep. Dr. Darcy feels that, you know, within a week or two, we should see if it's going to get better or if it's going to get worse. So we're just going to keep on going with her. I know we lose an hour of sleep. Ugh. That's, we'll get used to it, though, right? Was Elsie going crazy last night? Well, Elsie always goes crazy. <laughs> what am I saying? We also do have another new cat. Um, she'll probably be up here tomorrow. Her name is Luna. And uh, oh, she's uh, she's uh, five years old, short hair, slate gray, beautiful cat. <coughs> Her name is Luna. We may change that name. She came from a, um, um, a hard situation and desperately needed a new home so she's here and uh, she's doing awesome she's uh, she had to have several baths got her clean and she's super she's nice quite friendly. she is very very friendly oh i will cat daddy i will thank you i'm gonna go sit at my desk pretty soon and uh start working on my my computer there yeah, the new cat's name is Luna for right now, but we may change that. And she'll probably be up here tomorrow. She's she's uh, emotionally ready, and vaccine-wise, she's ready to come up. How was the cat that was at the mill? Oh no, no, that was that was at um, that cat was at uh, Manville. Manville turned over. I don't know how the sheriff's got involved because they're a county. And the Manville is right next door to the police. Maybe because we're county, the police called the sheriff to have him call here. So he's doing awesome. We did get his tail amputation done. Um, he's going to end up with a tail like that big, that long maybe. Yeah. But he's, he's, he's cool. I like him a whole lot. He got neutered later, not 
not as a kitten, but as an adult. So he's got the the little uh, boy cheek pads. And he likes to tickle me. He is cute. <laughs> he likes it. Yeah, he, he's a pretty cool boy. Oh, Joko, I will have to check. I know some stuff came today. I will have to check. I will, Nut Hatches. I love her. I love Mo Mowgli. I love them all. And just me? I certainly will. Or did you say give him a kiss? Well, I will. Is a sponsorship for Luna possible? Most certainly. She will probably be a little harder to adopt, unfortunately, because she's not a kitty or a young, young, young adult. She's five. Sometimes people, it's kind of sad, I think. They overlook them because of their age. But she's so super friendly. Yes, yeah, she is very yeah. friendly. She'll yep. come right up and love right on you. Yep, she... Yeah. Um, yeah, a week from... A week from today. Yeah, Baron will be seeing his new mama. Do we know where Mowgli... Oh, there's Mowgli right now. Mowgli! Nuthatch just wants to give you a hug and a kiss. Yes. She's a sweet cat. I love her. She's so friendly. Oh! <laughs> oh, approximate age for Manville? I think he's... Uh, we put him down as two. It is flat, but not too light in his mouth. Ooh, meow! I'm going to have to check on that. I'm going to have to check. I know stuff came today, but I didn't get a chance to look yet. Um, on Luna, we do have to do a dental. We're going to have to probably get her scheduled for a dental. She's got probably because of her situation. She's she's got some teeth that need some attention. Jesse. <laughs> you got to starve him to death, Jesse. Yes, there. Aw. Nut Hatches, she's so sweet. She really is sweet. Are you hiding your head? Oh, she says, nope, there I am. Oh, I'm going to hide it again. I think it kind of feels good. I take a hot cloth several times a day and really rub her lower chin and get all the slobbers and stuff off, and she just pushes and pushes right into it. I think it, it just must feel good. She always acts like she enjoys it. Oh, yeah. She's a wonderful girl. Are you going to take a nappy? <laughs> you look like a groundhog. They're all rolled up in a ball. Magic. <laughs> Are you awake now? You want to go over there? Sure. She's got to go poopy though. She's got a lot of stool in her belly. We gotta get that moving. <sighs> Did you hear that girl? You need to visit the litter box. And her fur will grow in. And her she'll, fur is beautiful. It, she's really She's gonna pretty. be a beautiful cat when she yeah. grows in her fur. Yeah, I'm sorry we had to shave so much. Oh, but I feel so much better. Yeah, oh, she has to. That was mats were nasty. There you go, all comfortable. Well, I'm going to shovel off. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I won't be able to make next time. Okay. Somebody, I, I know the, the girl already asked to schedule mine, so okay. and I you, won't be able to take You did off. get the date that we're the thinking sixth. of? Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. The first Saturday. Yeah, that'll yeah. be three weeks. Oh my gosh, I've got card on me. And I'll text you when I'm on my way tomorrow morning. Okay, sounds good. With as many as I can rustle. Okay. We'll do them. You bring them, we'll do them. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Yep. Appreciate you. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Uh, the cat they have to lay. Mm -hmm. Outside cat. Mm -hmm. It's in a nest. She'll come with me tomorrow. Are you talking about... Um, I'll tell you what. Catch oh. six plus four cats. Oh, gosh. My mind just went blank. Um, they are not... Oh. Jeez. <laughs> usually don't stumble over names. He is at a place that specializes in outside cats, and it's not just go outside, you're on your own. It's in a, it's something like our um, uh, Cat's Cove where they're in that protected fence. How is Addie? I love her. She's probably right behind that door. 
She's she you know she's a gentle soul. She's not too sure about being picked up, but she loves to be petted. Yeah. Morning. Okay. She's a good girl. Yeah, I can't wait for you guys to for you all to meet Baron on the other side. He's he's a top notch kitty cat. All right, well, if you folks are all set, I shouldn't have sat down because I may not get up now. How are you doing, Beth? I know it's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This morning was so busy. I've got applications everywhere. There's five right there. How busy it was this morning. Oh, my. That was really busy. For us telling so many people we were closed. Yeah, there's five apps right there alone. Yeah. Maybe you should get some more kitties. Well, <laughs> I'm ready when kitties are start coming in. I'll be ready. Where are you going, Kiki? Hi, Pony. Well, some of them are really tired, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Mr. Baron, what you doing? What you doing, Mr. Baron? Is he coming? Oh, uh -huh. I'm Pania. Pania. Hi, Pania. Well, I Hi, should Mr. go check Baron. on those little... There he comes, Mr. Hi, Baron. Mr. Baron. Hi, buddy. He's so handsome, isn't he? Oh, I see. Two, of, two of the kitties we were supposed to neuter today were already neutered, so we sent them home. No, no. We there was one of the able babies we we did not do. Yeah, those twin girls were very 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 neat kids. <laughs> good stuff. All right. Is that good stuff. I got to go get my records caught up and get things done. I'm thinking of taking pictures of the um, eagle. The what? Eagle. Eagle plates. Oh. I'll do that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'll do that tomorrow and I'll work on those. Okay. And then I'll take the other ones down and put What's them under there, bud? It's under there. Okay, see, I knew it. I can't get up. <laughs> uh. Is there something under there that you want, Baron? Who's yeah, we, we've got our me? num we've got our numbers down low enough now, you know, for us to take kitties. This happens every single year, come March, March and part of April. You know, the babies are aren't coming in full force yet. So, and we are still trying to get out as many as we can before the baby season. We did not get a new flag pole yet. No. Were you here that day that ha that wind mm -hmm. was? That was really crazy. The green guys were trying to run down the road. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I ran out and got them corralled. When you when you have to worry is when the goose starts going down the <laughs> yeah, road. <laughs> yeah. Well, the goose lost her hat. She lost her pretty little hat, so I don't have that hat anymore. And, uh, I wish some of the guinea hens would go flying down the road. They are so noisy. They are oh, so noisy. They are noisy. Yeah. But in the, the flag pole, you know, it just kept bending with that flag up. And oh, yeah. It, where all that pressure was, mm -hmm. it just bent over like a pipe cleaner. Yeah. All right, y'all. You take care. Oh, okay. Got to move. What else needs to be done? Um, Megan will be here in about an hour or yeah, so. Yeah, she said she would feed, so don't worry about feeding okay. anybody, and she'll right. make sure that Ramsey and the Lucy are fed and okay. watered. And Just wondering how these boys are, or the girls are. Mm -hmm. 